So now we're going to calculate reverse fractions. Before we start, let's recap how to calculate a fraction of an amount. So for example, if I'm going to find one third of 33, remember we always divide by the denominator, so that would be 33 divided by 3, which is 11. So now we're told that 2 sevenths of a number is 12, and we want to find out what that number was. So this is a reverse fractions question because the number is unknown and a fraction of that number has been found and we need to figure out what the original number was. So I'm going to use a diagram to explain. So this model represents the whole number and we're told that two sevenths of that number, two sevenths, is equal to 12 and we want to find out what the whole number is. Okay, so if 2 sevenths is equal to 12, then that tells me that 1 seventh is equal to 6. So the whole number will be 7 times 6, which is 42. So our original number was 42. Let's try another one. 27 is 3 fifths of a number. What is the number? So again, I'm going to use a diagram to illustrate. So 27 is 3 fifths. So 3 fifths. And I want to work out what the whole number is. If 27 is 3 fifths, then that means 1 fifth is going to be 27 divided by 3. So 9. And then there's 5 fifths in a whole, so we want 5 lots of 9 which is 45. So the original number was 45. A nice worded question now. A group of friends are planning a summer holiday. Three fifths of the group want to go to Greece. Everyone else would prefer to go to Italy. 15 of the friends want to go to Greece. How many friends are there in total? So again, this is a question where it helps to have a diagram to illustrate. Okay, so we've got our group of friends. Three-fifths of the group want to go to Greece. Okay, and everyone else wants to go to Italy. Fifteen of the friends want to go to Greece, so that fifteen is over here with the three-fifths, and we want to know how many friends there are in total. So if three-fifths is equal to fifteen, then each fifth is going to be equal to five, because that's fifteen divided by three which means that we have five lots of five in total. So the calculation we want to do, 15 divided by three gives us five, and then five times five is 25. So there were 25 friends in total. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to check out more of Century's content and visit our website to find out about our learning platform.